Suspicious death of a child as a homicide. News Channel 10's Madison Allowell joins us now live in the News Center with the latest in the investigation. The victim is an 18-month-old little boy. Police say they believe his death was abuse-related. The boy's mother took him to Plains Regional Medical Center early this morning around 4. At that time, he was in cardiac arrest and emergency staff could not revive him. A doctor here at the emergency room called police because the child had multiple suspicious injuries. This prompted a child abuse homicide investigation. It's not common for 18 months old to come to in cardiac arrest to the hospital, so there was some, obviously some visible um, past trauma that they had rec recognized, and that's what led them to this. Um, until we get the autopsy, we can't really say what the cause of death is, but there was obvious signs of abuse prior to this. Clovis police and several other agencies spent the day interviewing family, friends, and witnesses trying to find answers. A couple of search warrants were completed, I believe, uh, in an attempt to try to find some tangible evidence to this abuse. Chief Sanders says he cannot comment on any potential suspects at this time. He also says the boy's autopsy results are crucial to the next step in their investigation. The autopsy will be very important to us as to what the cause of death was. Uh, so um, we will continue to interview witnesses and family members and, and uh, try to put together a timeline as to how this all came about and, and then and then take it wherever the evidence leads us. Sanders expects the autopsy results to come in sometime tomorrow. Police are withholding the name of the victim and his specific injuries at this time to protect the nature of their investigation. Reporting live in the News Center, Madison Allowell, News Channel 10.